Welcome everyone back to Top 10 Evolution to be looking at 10 new Xbox Series X games alongside with some gameplay. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First up on this list is Lies of P. Lies of P is the upcoming role playing action adventure fighting game being developed by Round A Studios and is to be published by Newest. The release date for Lies of P has not yet been announced, but what we do know is that the game will be releasing for the Xbox Series X, Series S, PC, and the PS5. Lies of P takes the fictional children's story character Pinocchio and turns him into a badass monster slayer. On his journey to become human in a city once run by humans but now is filled with dark creatures, but nothing will stop Pinocchio from finding this mysterious person Mr. Geppetto, the only clue of what's going on. The game will feature all of weapons and skills also giving Pinocchio the ability to change his body parts into badass weapons. Next up is The Day Before. The Day Before is the upcoming MMO shooter action adventure third person game being developed by F Fantastic and is republished by Montana. The Day Before will be launching on these platforms the Xbox Series X, the Series S, PS5, and the PC on June 21, 2022. Now, this game will be a fully open world experience with zombies, driving, looting, about everything you can imagine in a real world post apocalyptic Z Day, you know, to actually look like. I mean, there's built up cities, there's gas stations, there's power lines, there, um, players will also be able to set up on um, ambush, as every player will be killing for food, water, gadgets, just anything they can get their hands on to survive the next day. This game is like Daisy, just um, more modern with, um, better visuals, improved graphics, and more attention to detail of our actual apocalypse would look like in reality, all while trying to survive the undead. This game might just be one of the biggest game of 2022. Next up is Wing Chun Falling Fighters. Wing Chun Falling Fighters is the upcoming fighting role playing action adventure game being developed and sweet published by Chengdu Lingzi Technology or Lingzai or Lingzi. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. Wing Chun Falling Fighters will be releasing for the Xbox Series X, Series S, PS5, and the PC. And even though there's not a set release date as yet, as yet though. But like many modern games, this game is a dark fantasy RPG title with a mix of Bloodborne and something new. The game's story is based out in China and on the collapse of the Ming Dynasty, which has the rest of the land fighting for power, bandits and warlords alike, and not to mention the supernatural beings also at war. And humans have started to grow fetters, which has them turn into dangerous feral monsters. Fetters. Humans. Wow. Next up is Fate of Dance Chance Hereafter. Fate of Dance Chance Hereafter is the upcoming adventure fighting platform game being developed by Joyfun and is to be published by Wangguang Shengtang Entertainment. Look, if I get that wrong, I'm sorry. I know no Chinese, literally. <laughs> My bad. The game will also be releasing on the Xbox Series X, Series S, PS5, PC, PS4, and the Xbox One. The release date is to be announced, but Faint of Dance Chance hereafter will be served as a sequel to 2017 Faint of Dance Chance. Faint of Dance Chance hereafter has shown a large emphasis on speedy traversing and fast paced combat and and unique combat like cutting certain objects with your sword and hitting them directly at an enemy dealing heavily damage. The game also seems to have an interest in stories that was teased in the game trailer where the main character daughter is captured by demons and he fights to get her back. Next up is Elements. Elements is the upcoming role playing action adventure indie fighting shooter game being developed by Ricky Games and to be published by Apogee Entertainment. The game has a planned release date of sometime in 2022, releasing for the Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, PC, PS5, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and the Xbox One. 
Element is a quite unique and beautiful game with its lush and vibrant cartoony colored graphics really giving off that magical vibes that it's meant for. There's 8 elemental stone in this magical world and you must go out and search for all these stones so that you can restore peace and balance. You will have magical abilities, skills, weapons to aid you on your journey across the land. You can also find and craft weapons and gears throughout the land. You'll be able to collect resources and elements and elemental fragments on your journey. These resources can be used to build shelters and a lot more. And also your character is yours to customize, so play around with whatever gears and weapons until you find the one that you like the best. Next up is Weird West. Weird West is the upcoming action adventure role playing shooter being developed by Wolf Eye Studio and is to be published by Devolver Digital. The game said it will be in a western cold white fantasy intertwined with dark fantasy elements. The game's story also surrounds five unique bounty hunters, which at some point all will meet. And keep in mind, action and death in this game is permanent, so try not to die or make any decisions you might end up regretting. The game will be releasing for the Xbox Series X, Series S, PC, PS5, PS4, and the Xbox One on March 31st, 2022. Next up is Project Ferocious. Project Ferocious is the upcoming shooter in the survival action adventure game being developed and be published by Omiyong or Omiyong or Omiyok. I don't know. Omiyok. It's a nice name. The release date for Project Ferocious is a quite a long way, all the way in 2023, but the game is showing a lot of potential. The game will be releasing for um, the game will be releasing on the Xbox Series X, Series S, PS5, PS4. And PC and the Xbox One, and you're the only person on the island filled with hostile forces and dangerous monsters, and you're equipped with a camera and a variety of weapons to survive whilst figuring out the truth of the island. You'll be able to explore the island, land, and sea. You also have the ability to climb and maneuver, and you know a lot of cool weapons and other gadgets will be able to customize, and the environment is fully destructible. You know a truly next-gen experience, you know graphics and gameplay-wise. Next up is Stalker 2 Auto Shinobu. Stalker 2 Auto Shinobu is the upcoming first-person shooter survival horror game being developed and published by GSC Game World. Stalker 2 is expected to launch on April 28, 2022 for the Xbox Series S, Series X, and the PC, with the game being a Microsoft exclusive. Stalker 2 will be the first Stalker game to be released and also the first Stalker game to make it to the consoles or to release on the consoles. The game will feature a single player story and will have multiplayer after the launch as a free update. And with the game current development on the Unreal Engine 5, we can truly expect a truly next gen experience both in graphics and gameplay. The game will also have much support for anyone you know into that sort of thing. I'm not not really but it's cool. Next up is Senu Saga Hellblade 2. Senu Saga Hellblade 2 is the upcoming action adventure fighting dark fantasy game being developed by Ninja Theory and is to be published by the Xbox Game Studio. Hellblade 2 is a Microsoft exclusive and will only be releasing on Xbox Series S, Xbox Series S, and PC. And whilst the game release date is not yet certain, a lot of gamers are speculating a late 2022 release date, but this might not be the case as developers are still in deep development with this game so i'll have to say maybe in 2023 before we'll be able to play this game but it's a hellblade game so it's definitely worth the wait Next up is Shadow Warrior 3. 
Shadow Warrior 3 is a gun first person shooter action adventure platform game being developed by Fire and Wild Hawk and is published by Devolver Digital. Shadow Warrior 3 will be releasing in 2022 for the Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, PS5, PC, PS4, and the Xbox One. You'll be playing as Luang, the series main character armed with a large array of weapons ranging from guns to melee weapons like swords and a lot more. You know, all can be all enough to um, rip apart your enemies in colorful glory style and also a grappling hook for traversing and also to get the upper ends on your enemy and attack from the sky you know ain't no crime the game will also have new traversing options like wall running um double jump and also air dash so it's cool that's it for the video thank you all for watching i'll see you guys in the next one please leave a like and subscribe until next time peace out